we're still working in the Maynooth Pottery presentation. In a previous video, we looked at how we animate indented bulleted text to make each bullet appear one at a time. I think you'll agree that it creates quite a bit of work as we had to animate each bullet individually. The same is not the case if you're using a single level bullet. So I've added in this extra video to show this and you'll see that I've adjusted the right-hand bulleted text on slide 2 so that it's no longer indented, it all sits at the same level. This has been done purely for demonstration purposes and when you continue to view the following videos, this text box will be back to showing indented bullets. With single bullets like this, there's no selecting of text involved. All we do is click into this right-hand box, then from the Animations tab heading, we choose the animation that we want. Even as we're waiting for the numbers to appear, we can see from the preview that each item is appearing individually. Now that the numbers have appeared, we can see that they are each numbered individually with the numbering following on from the previous text box. It's that simple. To change the direction that the bullets are flying in from, again we don't need to select anything, we just need the cursor to be in this right hand box, which it is. Then we click on the Effect Options button and select from right in this case. I'll take a look at this in slideshow view. Now as I click my way through these bullets, all the indented bullets appear one after the other on that left hand side. Then as I keep clicking, each single bullet also appears one after the other on the right hand side and I'll escape out of this view. So unlike indented bullets, I didn't have to select any text at all. The default for single level bullets is that they automatically want to appear individually. So it's just a matter of clicking into the text box itself before choosing the entrance animation. It's only if there are indented bullets involved and we want them to appear individually that we need to do that bit more work. In the next video, we'll look at how you can change the order that your animations take place in if you need to. If you're moving on to that next video called Change Around the Order of Animations, then you can keep the original presentation open.